in in a different foreign country like Argentina, um, where Bitcoin is barely getting off the ground, it's Bitcoin is farther behind in Argentina than it is in the United States for sure, and also farther behind than it is in in China and Russia. Argentina had their single Bitcoin exchange taken down by the government. Is that correct? Yeah, there's only one Bitcoin exchange in Argentina, which I didn't know. I thought that was pretty interesting, and um, didn't necessarily have it taken down by the government. Uh, it, most likely, it was an uh, an indirect consequence of the government. But um, what happened was this exchange. Their their name is Unisend. So Unison was uh, partnered with two Argentinian banks. Uh, they had bank accounts, so they could have fiat reserves. And um, just out of the blue, one day, they got um, a notice from both banks, and uh, each bank sent their notice to Unison like within two or three days of each other, I think, uh, just notifying them that uh, they had ten days to get their affairs in order because their accounts were being shut down. By the banks. And okay. By the banks, yeah. And um, there was a representative from Unison who talked to Coindesk, uh, which was my source for the article I wrote on it for CoinBrief. And he talked to Coindesk and said that um, it's probably their, Unison isn't expecting it to hinder their business any because they have contingency plans, they have backup banks that they're going to be working with. Hmm. Um but they suspect that it, that uh, the the two banks that they were working with probably shut down their um, accounts because of some new legislation that went into effect on the first of August, and um, it was a new some new financial rules, and it required any money uh, service businesses in Argentina to report all of their Bitcoin activity directly to the um, financial regulatory. Uh, department of the Argentinian government and um, you know obviously that's going to create a lot of hassle so for businesses that are dealing with the currency in a country where it hasn't really taken off yet so the banks probably just thought it would be too much trouble to deal with this one uh, like small exchange yeah. so they just shut the accounts down okay that sounds kind of like the reaction that a lot of US banks have had towards customers who deal in Bitcoin, you know, large amounts of, of Bitcoin transfers, uh, you know, transfer fiat to banks and the banks don't want to deal with potential regulatory implications and they just shut the accounts down. So it, it appears that this happened basically on a, on a large scale and, you know, it seems like Argentina's banking infrastructure might be highly centralized. So when a couple banks say that we don't want to deal with uh, you know this Bitcoin exchange, then you know that that's very crippling to it because there's there's so few options in in a country with so many currency controls and and overall like a a, a messed up government in terms of how they deal with the economy overall. Yeah, that's actually um, interesting. The the representative that talked to um, CoinDesk brought that up. Argentinian government actually defaulted on the national debt recently and on the day that they defaulted on their debt um, this guy said that Unison saw their most active um, day um, of the entire month uh, as far as you know Bitcoin activity goes and he said that that normally from his observations just working for an exchange that um, activity fluctuates with the Bitcoin price, right? So, you know, when the price goes up, there's more activity. When it goes down, there's more activity. Um, but this had nothing to do with changes in the price. It was a direct result of the government defaulting on their debt. Lots of people bought Bitcoin, and he speculated uh, that it was because people in that moment lost faith in their uh, government's ability to steer the economy. So they started looking for alternative ways to preserve their wealth. They turned to Bitcoin. So yeah. Bitcoin's definitely not gone anywhere. Yeah. It's stay it's staying and it's there to stay in Argentina. Yeah. It's just a minor setback. But Argentina is like the perfect place for Bitcoin to take off because they just have an incredibly shaky um economy there and it's you know just a perfect place for Bitcoin to swoop in and save the day. Yeah, you know, if we could just get those people, you know, all some cheap smartphones 
with you know a, a solid Bitcoin wallet application on the smartphone um, that would seriously empower all the people in that country to you know control their finances better and stop depending on centralized banks you know uh, to, to handle their money so it's it's coming down the line it's just happening slowly and we're we're still in the phase in part of the world where uh, you know governments are failing in some ways, you know, in, in terms of like defaulting on the national debt or whatever, um, like Cyprus did uh, like a year or two years ago, and people started buying Bitcoin a lot. So we're still in that phase in certain in certain countries. It just doesn't have that big of an effect on the price now because um, Bitcoin overall is 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 so much more global and and integrated with various economies. 